And closer to home, Eastern North Carolinians are also honoring the memory of Ahmaud Arbery. Nine on your sides, Aaron Jenkins attended the Mod Pub run in Uptown Greenville. And Aaron, what's the initiative here? Well, Ken Angie, tonight, Fleet Feet of Greenville and Together We Stand and See are honoring Arbery by running 2.23 miles. It's been two years since this tragedy, and event organizers say now is the time to have conversations with each other about the social justice that still needs to be done. Two years ago, Ahmaud Arbery was tragically shot and killed in Brunswick, Georgia, as he was out on a jog. His death is something, regardless of your race, it still hurts you because this guy was innocent. He wasn't being arrested, he wasn't, there's was nothing going on, he was just running. More than 120 people gathering in Uptown Greenville for Fleet Feet's 2.23 mile pub run. They're partnering with the nonprofit Together We Stand in C to honor Arbery. And the goal is really just to remember Mark Arbery, to have conversations about people with people you don't know about race. It's not a hard conversation, just talking and being become more aware of what's going on in your community. Chris Lunyon is the owner of Greenville's Fleet Feet. He says this event is a good way to bring the community together to start those conversations. I think the beautiful thing about Greenville is we're very community focused, so anything that we can do to keep things on the forefront um, and keep the movement going um, will only be good for all of us. The goal is always has to be to try to find ways to bring people together. But running is a great way to do it, as is beer. Lunyon also wants people to know, keeping Arbery's death in mind, they're trying to create a safe place for people to run. We want to make sure our community knows that it's safe um, to run together, but most importantly, safe to run alone. So this is to help kind of bring that conversation back to the table. There are eight mod runs across North Carolina this week, and officials say they had more than 1,200 runners across the entire state for the events. Part of the money raised will also be donated to local nonprofits. The money raised here tonight in Greenville will be given to the Building Hope Community Center. In studio, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. Aaron, thank you.